Do you want to share your PowerPoint presentation on something like YouTube or through an online course, but you want people to know who's giving the presentation, so you want your head to show up in the upper right-hand corner just like this one? Well, I'm Brighton West, and I help coaches with online video, and today I'm going to show you how to do that on a Macintosh. So this video is actually part of a two-part series. The first one is just doing this on your desktop computer if your office has a really great background. But this is kind of the upgraded version. This is if you want to pull out all the bells and whistles, if you want to read a teleprompter and have a microphone, I'm going to go through all the ways that you could kind of add on and make an even better presentation. So I've invited my wife, Kat, to join me here. She's going to pretend to be the presenter today, and I'm just going to help along the way. So the first thing I want to go over is the equipment. The first thing I have is my Macintosh laptop computer. And it is sitting here on this stand. And, um, you know, I'll have links to all of this stuff down below, but you could use a, a bar stool or something like that if you don't have this particular stand. This one's nice because it's super adjustable. Uh, plugged in is this microphone, which is currently on me, uh, but will be on Cat when the presentation starts. Coming out the other side, is a Logitech C922 camera. And that camera is sitting inside a teleprompter. Uh, so, the, so what we're gonna be doing is the camera is recording from behind a one-way mirror and in front of it is going to be the script. So this is if you had a really long script, like an hour-long presentation, and you wanted to get the script exactly right, you could use this method. So C922 is back there. This black fabric here is just part of the teleprompter that makes it possible to see the, the screen of the teleprompter. So I'm using the PromptSmart Pro software on my iPhone to run the teleprompter. You can see it here. The image is mirrored and then when it bounces off the glass, uh, Kat will be able to read it. And you'll want to line up the iPhone here in the tray with the camera behind. So if you pull this up, you can see where the camera is in relation to the text. And I'm also assuming here that you already have a PowerPoint presentation finished and ready to go. And so that's about where we are right now. I'm gonna help Kat just with the setup of all the recording. And then she's gonna go ahead and give the presentation. And then I'll come back and finish the setup and show you how to edit uh, and really finish up the, the job so that you can be on screen, your PowerPoint's on screen, everything's synchronized, and it's off to YouTube or a e-course platform. So my wife has been so kind as to remind me that not everyone uses PowerPoint anymore. I'm technically using Keynote. There's also Google Slides. There's a number of things that, that work this way. I still refer to it as PowerPoint, and I bet you you do too. Okay, so on your computer, you've got your PowerPoint presentation running, and you're going to use a software called ScreenFlow. And this software is about $130, but it is amazing. It'll capture your screen, it'll capture everything. Uh, and it's really great editing software, easy for a beginner to use. Um, so I'll have a link down, to, down below to that too if you will need to purchase that. Um, but once you're in ScreenFlow, you can go to File and then New, and you're gonna do a new recording. And it pops up this window here where you see all the different things that ScreenFlow is going to record and you can turn them on or off. So the first thing is record from the desktop and uh, it's showing you that it is recording the desktop. That's where your PowerPoint presentation is gonna be playing so you wanna make sure that ScreenFlow captures that. Uh, if you had an iPhone attached or an iPad, you could record from that too. We don't have that now then you can tell it which uh, camera to record from. So you can see here, there's a couple different cameras. So there's a built-in camera. Uh, you can see that one's looking down, up from down below, but the camera that is, the C922 is behind that teleprompter glass. So that's where what the camera that we wanna kinda of be looking at, talking to, because that's how the audience will feel like we're making a connection with them. Go down to record audio from, and choose the microphone. Uh, this is a microphone, I just picked this one up, uh, really happy with it, there'll be a link down below. Um, but this is a lavalier microphone, the idea is it gets the microphone closer to your mouth, and I'm gonna uh, transfer this over to Kat right before she gets going. So the microphone, and then you can record the computer audio. Say your PowerPoint presentation had some video involved in it, or some sound effects or things like that, this will allow it to capture that as part of the recording. When all of that is set, just come down here and push the red record button. And it's gonna do a countdown and confirm the things that you just chose. And then I want you to go in to your PowerPoint presentation, get to the first slide and push play. 
and this will get you all set up. I'm going to transfer the microphone over to Kat for this quick presentation now. Okay. Well, hi there. I'm Brighton's adorable wife, Kat, and I'm going to give a simple three-slide presentation. Uh, this is the second slide in the presentation. And here's my final slide in the presentation. Thanks so much for uh, your attention. Okay, perfect. Once you've reached the end of your presentation, just go ahead and hit escape to close out of the, the presentation mode. And then you'll come up here to the top of the screen and you'll see this little video camera with a circle inside, a black dot. Go there, click on that, and then click stop record and it's going to automatically open up ScreenFlow. So now that we've recorded, we can let Kat go about her merry way, and I'm going to show you guys how to do the editing and make it look exactly the way you want it. But before, before she does that, I'm taking the, the microphone back. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. All right, bye-bye. Okay, let me walk you through ScreenFlow really quick. If you've never used it before, the screen is really broken into three parts. And this is very standard for editing software. If you're on a PC, by the way, Camtasia is the closest software. In ScreenFlow, in the upper left-hand corner, you've got the viewer, and that shows uh, what is on the timeline. The timeline's at the bottom. The viewer shows what's on the timeline at the playhead. So as you scroll across the playhead, that's what's gonna be on screen. In the upper right is the inspector, which has, you know, kind of a, that's the place where you do all the, the fun, cool stuff. If you have extra media that you wanna add in, uh, if you wanna change things, you wanna increase the volume or change the color or things like that, all of that gets done in the upper right hand side in the so inspector. So let me show you this here. So there's there's two layers and at, this as works just like any other graphics program with layers. Anything on top shows up above or uh, it shows up if you have it on top. If you drag it below, you can see it disappears. So I'm gonna put the window, that's the smaller window of the video up on top. And I'm gonna start out by going and finding the start of the presentation. So I'll scroll over here to the point where I can see Kat getting ready to present. And just get to this spot where she's smiling. There we go. And then I'll push the box at the bottom of the playhead. And then over here, I can highlight these two pieces and delete. And then we're gonna go to the far side of that when she finishes. Okay, there she is, finished, and once again, cut off those pieces, select, delete. And then I'm gonna delete out the space before. Perfect. So this is the presentation. You can see the presentation on screen and you can see Kat in the lower right-hand corner. And now you have the opportunity to kind of move around uh, the, the video here. So let's say we want to take this, this video and put it in the upper right hand corner or we want to make it bigger or smaller or let's go over to the inspector and change things like the cropping on the left we want to make it more square because she's kind of off center there so this looks better maybe the top is a little high too there there we go that makes her look best um, so we want to round out the corners maybe and make it you know kind of a funky shape uh, whether there's a drop shadow a color correction so there's a number of options that are all accessed over here on the right but that's going to let you control what's going on with that video uh, you can have that video come and go as you please there's a lot more that you can do with ScreenFlow. you could you could have it flying around the screen if you wanted but i just wanted to show you the way to just make it possible for you to have yourself and that slideshow showing on the screen at the same time and recorded at the same time so it's moving at the correct pace. Once you've gotten to this point, uh, what I like to do is save the file. So first off, let's just hit save. I'm just going to put it on the desktop as cat. So this is kind of the, the master file that you can always go in and change. Once you have that, then you need to go to File, Export, and Export the movie, the, the file that you can upload to uh, Vimeo or YouTube or Facebook or wherever it needs to go. So uh, this one will be called, I'll just call it cat movie just to make it obvious. And go ahead and export it. OK, 
Okay, so about a minute later, we have our, our 16 second movie is complete. And I'm gonna go out to my desktop, show you that. So you can see here what the final movie looks like. So you can see um, if there was any audio in there that would have been included, all the animation is included. So this isn't like a static presentation. This is just like you would do a presentation in person. This is a great way to do it so that the person who's watching feels like you're really there with them and that you're presenting to them. I highly recommend this as the way to do it if you want to you know, take one of your presentations from the stage and put it up as video. As I mentioned earlier, this is part of a two-part series. So if you click up here, you're gonna see the first part, which is just if you wanna do this at your desk without all the teleprompter and uh, external webcam and microphone and whatnot, the kind of the easy way to do that. And uh, also you can click on the subscribe button down here if you'd like to see more videos from this channel for coaches using online video. I'll see you in the next video.